Okay, well, everyone for the playback who's not electrician man 412, uh, I'm going to go grab my tools real quick. I got the router plugged in with the extension cord, so we got Wi-Fi. Got the uh, light plugged in right there. So now all I got to do is go turn the power off and grab my tools, and I will be right back. Um, yeah, I did clean my tools out, so I'm super happy about that, but leaving the light on, so when I flip the breaker, it's pretty obvious to see that it's off. We are back. So I, wow, there's so many people here. Got my drill. Got to put my bit in. Oops. Um, need to put the thingy on. Need to put the drill clip on. And then I, I want to show you this. If you remember you last night, this was completely covered in insulation. So I completely dumped everything out today and vacuumed it so super clean until the next time i go in the attic maybe i'll do that like i'm thinking maybe monday or something um if i want to really go for it um climb back up in the attic and switch out the wires in the ceiling for the living room but anyways that's not why everyone is here i'm gonna try to keep I'm going to try to keep this to a minimum for the playback for an actual live install video. So, going to put my drill bit in real quick. Just kind of give you the whole scope here from beginning to end. So, I shut the power off, got the plug-in light down below. I'm just going to take this switch out that I put in last night. This switch is nice and broken in. I don't know why those are so tight. Oh dear. I don't know why these are all like super like crimped down. Maybe it's just when I tighten the screw. But I'm gonna have to un twist all of these or spread them apart because it's not going to come off unless I don't, unless I do. Oops. Screw down. So ground and then traveler. <clears throat> and then another traveler. Hopefully you can see this. And then the common or switch leg, like I said, dead ended. We're reusing my white wire. Okay, so we got that off. Decora baby. Yeah, I don't, I've never even saw that they're called decorator switches until I just read the box like two minutes ago at the store. I don't know if I've ever worked on a switch hot. Can you explain the wires and colors? Um, I kind of just did that. Sub DL more. The pre live stream was lit. Thanks guys for the likes. Um, so black is my, actually no, black and red are my travelers right here because it's a three way switch. And I reuse my white wire as a black for a switch leg. And then my ground right there. 
So let me grab my new switches. I might need to, I had to go to, oh my gosh, it took me like a week to find these. Every store was out. They just got a six pack in. I had to buy six of these to get two of them. Um, and I went to I went to Home Depot. They had them individually, but it was the Leviathan brand or whatever, Levitron. And they have the letters on it, like imprinted. And obviously my house doesn't have that. And they're retarded anyways. So had to go to Lowe's and get the kind without no letters on it. So, <sighs> so ready to do this. Um, and these are, these have the plates on them, so I'm probably just gonna, um, cut these off, except the ground it still needs a hook on it, so, going to grab my strippers, and then, just going to straighten these back out, and then cut some of it off, because I don't need an inch, and don't, Cut yourself, that really hurts. Seriously though. You think being shocked hurts, dude? Oh my gosh, cut yourself with strippers or strip your hand, cut your finger with the holes on here, strip your finger and cut it at the same time. Or you know what I'm saying, but if you crimp your finger in here, it hurts the worst. Oh my gosh. Okay, now that we got that done, I'm gonna grab my switch, and so I don't confuse anything, I'm gonna do the black wire first, or my, uh, not my black wire, because I have two now. I'm gonna do my switch leg um, first on my black screw, so I don't accidentally use my other black on that. And I might need to, depending on if my switch is my plate is flat against the wall. I might have to take the tabs off of the switch right here because it's on the remodel box. Okay, and I like to do red on the common side. So I don't mix blacks up or anything, even though I just put my black on first. My switch leg on first. I just like to tighten these down a little bit. And then throw my ground on. That's way down there. And this one will be almost completed. And this time I'm probably going to level it out. Because um, last night I didn't level it, I just eyeballed it. But this time now that we're official, we got to make it official. go should okay that's the top ground is on the top I'm just gonna pop that in there tighten her down I'm gonna have to straighten that out a little bit level I'm kind of debating of taking my second level to work but don't really need two of them that often um, so it is a little bit off I'm gonna have to slide it to the left I think it's easy if you tighten down one of them and then just have the other one kind of loose that's pretty good. And then you just hold it in place. And then try to screw it down without it moving. And let me know if you guys like these live streams because I really like them doing electrical work. It's easier than like sitting here making a video. Um, I don't know if it's good for playback that much, but for the live streams, um, it's educational and it's just me doing work. So I really enjoy it. and. 
hopefully you guys enjoy it too, so let me know if you do. So that's right in the middle right there. Looks pretty straight off the wall. Um, for the most part, but we'll see here in a second once we get the plate on here, which is over here. And I, and I lost my other screw last night, so I'm probably gonna have to steal one out of my new, my new switch plate. But I will have an extra screw once I take off the other one and replace it for double so it doesn't really matter. So I'm just temporarily borrowing one from the double gang, which I will use in the future um, in the living room. So this is, ooh, that is very close. Oh, that's just a pencil mark. Um, but that's gonna be pretty much um, covered. So I did a really good job of cutting these in. Pretty proud of myself I didn't destroy my wall. But before I say that, I will uh, put the cover on the other one first and then you will know if I actually messed up or not. But um, see, this is kind of off the wall right here, so I'm going to have to take it back off and um, actually, no, maybe not. And it's a little bit off the wall, so I'll probably have to take it off. Probably have to take it back off and uh, rip off the ears because that looks bad. But it, it was pretty straight for the most part. I don't want to drop this behind the desk. I need to turn my air conditioning, it's gotta be hot in here. Feels at least like 74. Okay, so like I said, you're gonna have to rip the ears off here. What is that? I'm so confused. Oh, you can see me off the back of the TV or something, off the back of that reflection. If I worked on generators, I have, what's up GTB? I don't like Leviton. These switches seem to be better. I like them because they're clickier. They're easier to click. Um, the other ones are a little bit um, harder to hit or to switch. And then they have the letters on, which I don't like. But I'm not doubting that they're not good. It's just not my preference. So now I'm gonna grab my channel locks. My favorite. I think these are the eight inch ones, my favorite. So now I just have to grab the ears right at the crease. Bend that back and forth until they come off. Like so, very easy. If you don't grab it at the bend, then it can kind of mess up sometimes. And you don't want that. So two more to go, two down. One more to go. And so why I'm ripping these off is because as you can see on the cut-in box, there is a little groove right here. And so the ears were sitting on the outside flange if you take the ears off then it'll sit in like another eighth of an inch or so right inside of this hole right there and that's what we're going for so now i'm going back in That top piece is still sort of hitting that, but we're gonna see how it works. So maybe it'll help a little bit, maybe it won't help at all. So level it one more time. It's pretty crooked. I didn't do anything, it's too tight. So 
now we got that perfect. Hopefully this will sit flatter because if not, I'm gonna be sad. You don't want me to be sad, hopefully. But also I'm not sure, maybe the screws are just hitting the the metal in the metal plate on the box, so that could be also a possibility. But now it seems like my switch is too far away. I might need to erase that pencil mark right there, but first we'll see if this is going to even fit. It looks a lot better. It's tighter already, but I need to grab an eraser or something, which I don't even know if I have a pencil in my house because I have a pencil on the wall. So that did actually help taking the ears off, surprisingly. I mean, as it should, but because of this box is a little bit different than I'm normally used to, I wasn't sure if it was actually gonna work and it did, so. Where do I find a pencil in this house? No idea. All right, I'm gonna move on to the next project because I don't know if I have an eraser, so. Let's move on to the second switch, or the, yeah, the second switch. I can drop that. Oops. Sorry, stream was frozen because the my bat, my phone's on 20%, so when it has that 20% notification, it freezes. So, sorry about that, we are back. Good thing I'm waiting too long. All right, so now we're going on to the second three-way switch. Yeah, I need a... I don't know if you can uh, change that from a banner or from a notification pop up to a banner. That would be nice. Um, so let's do the same exact thing on this side. I got 20% and I have no power in my bedroom. So got a speed run it. So out with the toggle. Okay, so same thing. I'm gonna have to spread apart the hooks so I can get them off. And just take my flat blade and try not to stab myself. I think that one might work. Okay, got it. Sometimes I just don't wanna come off. Perfect. Once again, I'm going to straighten out the hooks. Oh, I just kind of lost my, uh, make sure you remember which one is your traveler and which one is not, but because I know what I'm doing, I'll figure that out real quickly. I just have to look at it for like two seconds. Um, let me straighten this back out. Try not to make a mess because I just vacuumed the floor last night for the first time since I moved in my house. Let's go. Okay. Grab my new switch. And this time I won't have to take off the ears. Um, so how I, if I, if you don't remember which is your uh, power, or I mean your common for the black screw right there, um, you just find your power. So obviously I thought it was that one, but it's not comes off of the pigtail um, off the wire nut. As you can see, it's wiggling the wire nut right there. Um, and, and I can see it is coming out of the wire nut physically. So that goes on my black screw. All right. And then, like I said, I like to go pink or red on the other one on the black side. Not to overdo it here. Black to my other traveler to my gold. And then the ground. I'm gonna mess that up a little bit. That might work. Um, 
find it. I didn't close it all the way, but. Now it's closed. Okay, so once again, ground on the top. Push this back inside. And hopefully, I'm just worried about the plate covering all this crap um, and it being straight, so. The single gang is pretty easy. You can just um, straighten the switch out and then your plate's gonna be straight, but this is a little more tricky with the two of them. Kind of do it, but we'll see. It's pretty easy to just do like, some people will cheat it, like they'll straighten one of them out and then they'll keep the other one loose. Um, that one's pretty straight right there. Um, but then once again, you also have to, I'll show you. So this one, I don't know if that's a little bit bigger, but looks like it covers pretty much everything. It does show a little bit of that crinkle right there from the sheetrock being ripped. Um, but for the most part, that should be pretty straight right there. Um, so I'm not too worried about that. So as you can see, my holes line up perfectly and it's perfectly dead level. So um, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Um, granted, this box could probably be sucked back to the wall, but it doesn't really have anything to hold on to. So hopefully the plate will hold it against the wall pretty nicely. I just lost all my screws. So now put the plate on here real quick. Hopefully everything turns out. There's a hair. Um, kind of roll the sheetrock. Try to get as flat as possible. A lot, of, a lot of people don't do that like when they go to put in their devices and trim on tri during trim time they they just put the plate on with all the crusties over the sheetrock and that raises your it raises your plates and stuff and uh not good so don't be lazy and do it right i'm gonna have to steal another screw because of this is the one that I stole the screw out of for the other switch over there. Actually, I'll just steal it back, so. I'm gonna steal my screw back real quick. Wherever it's at. And then I'll just have, oh, I forgot why. Oh yeah, I have to find the eraser, that's why I didn't do that one. Oh, that's not good. My screw stripped out or something. What is happening? That's not good. It's always something, y'all. It's always something. I don't know why that screw won't go in. Weird. It should go in. Try to put it in manually. Uh, maybe. Maybe I got it. I can't tell if it's just sitting there loosely or if I actually got it. It's not fully tightened yet, so slight concern that I'll have to replace that switch. I would rather not do, but I have extra, so can if need be. Um, yeah, it's pretty stripped out, so that's retarded. But everything else looks pretty good, so I mean, the box could probably push back in there a little bit. There's a teeny gap, but you're never gonna see it from that side. So I'm gonna have to replace the switch, it's unfortunate. Uh, I need to stop dropping screws. I'll have to check the messages for see if you guys like the live streams or not. For electrical work. 
Hopefully you do, because that's kind of why you're here. Um, but I mean, you are watching, so I don't know why that hole's just like blown out of proportion there. That's ridiculous. That's dumb. So this switch is pretty much garbage now. But I also do have another new one in the garage, so. It would be nice if I had some battleships. I could battleship that to the wall. That would be great. I might have some in the garage. Actually, I'm not sure if I have some, but I feel like I might. These ones, these ones don't matter. For color order, any black can go on any screw. So that one's garbage. Luckily, I bought a brand new one tonight. I was gonna use this in the living room, but when duty calls, Sometimes. All right. Now this goes on top. Go back together. Try the plate again, see if it is level, because this one is level. Um, could be tilted a little bit, probably. That looks pretty good, so call that a day. We drop one of these screws. All right, we're going to try this again. Start with the one that was bad. Not wholly just blown out. Stop, don't tease me like that. Okay. Try not to, like, I don't want my screwdriver to slip and, like, destroy the wall, so I'm trying to use my hand as a guard for my screwdriver, so if it does slip, it's not going to destroy my wall. Last screw. I don't have to go up and down. Try to make that look decent. It is oh no, I just stripped that one too. What the heck? That's so weird. I don't know why that's like stripped. Same screw hole, same exact spot. That's so weird. But anyways, that's what it looks like, but I don't know why it keeps stripping out on me. Doesn't make any sense. It's a little bit loose as you can see. Battleship. Um, so I might have to do that. But for the most part, it looks decent. Well, that screw's not straight anymore, so. Anyways, that's what it's supposed to look like. Um, and I need to find an eraser for the other one, but that's pretty much what it takes to get it done if everything goes well according to plan so i'm gonna go uh turn the lights back on and uh go from there
All right, so we got the switch going. Of course, I'm on 10% now, so live stream has been paused. So I got the switch working over here. It's good, lights on. Lights off. Little light back on. Good to go. So everything's still working properly, minus a wall plate right there and a stripped wall plate over here. So, I don't know, does that screw look darker to you or something for some reason? I don't know. It looks a little bit darker for some reason. But anyways, that's uh, switching out um, switches. So, hopefully you enjoyed. I'm going to try to work on the um, video for today for the channel. So, I'll probably have to get a... Battleship for that to hold the box in the wall or concoct a different um, method for holding that, that inside the wall. So, anyways, I'm gonna move on to my next project and uh, play some video games later. Um, you want me to do a video with live circuits? I mean, I can, but. I would rather not. My man Snitch, good to see you, dude. All right, guys, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks so much for watching and hanging out on the live stream. Love you guys. God bless. Peace out.